John, to the fact that I really wasn't hardly at all what I said I was, and you started to get pretty annoying with your accusations and trying to tell me who you thought I really was, because from my lips, it was you and you only forever. But unfortunately, you found other characters that fit into the story that just uh, kind of just proved that. But. From the first time you suspected me of giving eyes to that waiter, you were right. And in fact, little do you know, I met up with him after the restaurant closed. Remember I told you that I had a flat tire? And you noticed that the spare wasn't even used? I figured you must have known and just kept it to yourself like I do about everything. <laughs> but yes. And... Once you eventually started to figure me out, it got more and more difficult to fool you. I know that on some level you must understand. Face it, I was a pretty good damn actress. I had you fooled, didn't I? I know you said you didn't believe me. But, did that stop you from keeping me? I don't think so. So, a win for me. But I realize after, like I mentioned before, after a while, too many little discrepancies just kept popping up. So, I decided on my own, without letting you know, even though I told you everything was fine, I just needed some time. I knew. I had to move fast. Because you don't know this, but what we have, I have had at least a thousand other times with a thousand or more other people who, many of which were more hung than you, and knew how to satisfy me better than you did, but that's beside the point. But, I've been through it over and over, and I know what I'm doing, so I must apologize, because I know that after my initial discard, what did I do, what's that term all you people use? Well, I wasn't quite sure that my next project was going to work out when I discarded you. And I didn't want to lose you completely. I know I hurt your feelings that night. I made a date with you, but mysteriously just couldn't make it. Well, if you recall, I did briefly reconnect with you. Well, mo mainly because I needed some of your alcohol. I couldn't afford to buy it at that point. But you don't need to know that. Oh, I guess you do. The cat's out of the bag. The pussy's out of the pussy. But I know you're probably confused. Because it has been like six months six months and since we've been, had even seen each other. So, if you really must know, I know I hadn't seen you all that time and then I just one day showed up. I know it probably freaked you out. Remember, I ain't got no emotions like you humans, so Lord knows what was going on in your head. But, problem was, I had been dating one of your good friends behind your back, and I wasn't quite sure it was going to work out. So I had to keep my options open, and I do have what I call a back burner. And I knew you were easy. I knew I could get you in my bed any time I wanted. But that wasn't the project I was working on. So, in case you didn't know, 
I know you were confused how I could have just shown back up and then very quickly disappeared. Well, in case you forgot, after not seeing you for six months, I was talking to you and telling you how I hadn't been seeing anyone. No one. I just spent most of my time with my family. I never went out. I was depressed. Remember all that? And you bought it. <laughs> you are retarded! You are retarded! Honey, I was pursuing one of your friends behind your back and he happened to want to go see his Ex and it really made me mad. So my game is switched off of you. It was on to him. And I thought if he's gonna go see his ex, well then, honey, I'm gonna go see my ex. And you were perfectly willing. Sorry to make a fool of you, but I didn't feel a thing. All I was thinking was, <laughs> I've got this under my belt, so when my new love comes to his senses, <laughs> I'll have a much better defense. Don't go giving me those fake crocodile tears. Come on. I'm the narcopath. You think I have a clue what love is? All I know is it's the word that I use to get what I want. And I many times have to use it on a lot of people in the same time frame. So sue me. It's not my fault. I don't know what it is. But you knew. You must have known. Huh. You think I ever cried over you for real? <laughs> no. Oh, please, don't give me that crap. Don't tell me that you've never lied before. Look, I had to look out for myself. I knew I had my new guy all lined up. But I had to get my insurance policy in place. So that's why I came to you and told you I was so depressed. I, I wanted to plant a little seed in your head. I inspire you. Try to try to win me back. Because again, I told you, this ain't my first time at the rodeo. Don't fuck with me, fellas! It almost works every time. When I tell that little story about how I haven't been talking to anyone, I've just been sitting at home just trying. They always take that bait and think they're going to come back and make a difference and oh, that's exactly what I needed. Even though I had three others doing the same thing, it was kind of difficult to juggle them all, but huh, it's tough being an arcopath. Mm -hmm. Please give me a break. Knock it off with the tears. That's repulsive. I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. I just had to make sure that I had what I wanted. And I know I kind of left you hanging after that night, but what am I supposed to do? But I do want to talk to you now. I did leave you with someone else, and I know I, I apologize, but I told you I was lonely and sad, but I didn't know what else to do. Well, uh, the guy I left you for, well, one night I was going to get some gas and thought that I had a flat tire, and ended up spending a little time with one of his old buddies and one thing led to another and he left me. He left me and I realized I should have stayed with you. 
you were the one, you were the only one for me. So, I wish you could forgive me for all that, that's the past. And let's try to start over. I'm serious, I'm really ready to make a change. I know the things I have done before were wrong, but I couldn't help it. But, I promise this time, I'm gonna change for you. And we can be together forever like we always planned. Hello? Hello? Did you hear what I just said? I think we can make it work between the two of us. Oh, that was just a phase I was going through. Who is that that keeps texting? No, no, let me find out. Give it here. Did you get rid of the bitch yet? Come to me, I'm waiting. Who is Tamika? Tamika, who is this? Who is Tamika? Oh, that bitch. I'm gonna get her. Oh, I was making all this up. I don't want you. I hate you. You're never gonna be mine. Ever. You know what? I've made a mistake. I was just trying to see what you would do. I've got someone else outside, so... I was just kidding. I had no intentions of getting back together with you. And you have fun with Tamika. I hope she gives you what you want. She doesn't have what I have. You blew it. You blew it. Don't come back to me ever again. I never want to see you again. Ah! Ah!